Okay, so this video is for Ramus1970. Um, how can I attach a prop to a character in CTA2? Say like a cell phone or a stick so that when they walk or run, the prop stays lined up with a hand um, and does not float around when using keyframes. Key okay, I am going to minimize this real quick. And I just bought some props on to the scene for Crazy Talk Animator. And we're going to use um, this character as an example. Now, when you're attaching the prop, you can do several things. You can embed it inside of the character, uh, meaning go into the character composer and then drag a prop there. Or if it's something minor, you can do it. Um, so, for example, if she has this mask on her face and it's only going to be for a few seconds, then you may not want to... Um, put the mask on inside of a character during the editor mode, you might just want to have it external while you're still on the stage. So I'm going to attach a few of these in different spaces so you can understand how it works. I'm going to start with the mask. Um, you can go ahead and, you know, in this example, I'm going to cover her mouth best way possible. Say about right there, nothing too fancy. And um, up top, see here, where are you? Right here, you can link it. So I can say link, and then I can say exactly what I wanted to link to, whether it's a nose, eye, her whole face. In this case, I'm going to say the face. Now, if I move her, it moves with her. And no matter what animation is doing, it's going to follow her everywhere I go, everywhere she goes. If I want to unlink it, I can go back to it, go back to this option and hit unlink. And now it's no longer going to follow her everywhere she goes. And you can do that for each one of these items. So if you had two characters, you can make this character hold it and give it to someone else. Now right here, if she's holding a book, it looks kind of silly even if you link it to this hand and that's because it's for this particular option it's best to link it in between um, her hand and her legs so it looks like she's really holding it so in this case this particular prop is already in the stage mode it's useless what you will want to do is go ahead and bring um, I believe this is cherry into um, the composer mode and I'm just going to go back real quick and find that um, book. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to get the props. Okay, so here's that same book. This time, I'm going to tell it to attach to the hand. And it's going to look, it's going to look weird right now. But when I go back to the stage, I could then click on it and go here under the layer editor and see right here, accessory list. Now I can determine exactly where I want it layered at. So in this case, I want it um, behind this hand. So you can say, send to the back of and then highlight the hand. Now it's there. Up oh, doesn't make sense though, because now the arms and stuff don't show right. So what you may want to do is say, if you hold down the, well, I'm using the Mac, so if I hold down the command button, I can highlight the whole arm, and I can say, I want the arms to be in front of this book. Now it's making more sense. Now I could then take the book and go ahead and get out of this one. I can take the book and I can manipulate it any way I want. I can shrink it down. And once again, it's, it's moving with her. So I can, I'm not going to give her a regular walk cycle, but as you can see, she can hold this book and then you can do your regular keyframing. And even if you want her to walk, let's just go ahead and um, 
let me quickly give her a warm side blow. Three D move. I'm just gonna start her from here and say um roughly 125 frames go from here to here. So go back. And since it's only going to do one cycle, let me go into the timeline. <sighs> I got to expand this out. I'm doing this on a laptop, so I don't have as much real estate as if I was working on my, my iPad. You see here, I'm looking for her 3D motion. Here's her walk cycle. I'm going to tell it to um, to loop. Her speed is fine, but I'm just going to have it loop all the way. Here we go. Just let it loop all the way to her, the end of her walk cycle. So I should be able to go back. And now she should walk. And the cool thing is, um, you know, you don't have to necessarily use that hand gesture. You can go in and try to make it look more realistic by um, finding a hand that seems like she's gripping. Oh, she doesn't really have a good option. a little better um but depending on her hand gesture it can make it look more realistic and the same can be done with the um the spear so if it's something where she's just quickly throwing it once again you may just have it quickly attached to her hand and then release um sometimes you have to do a little magic where you have two of the same objects one is hidden one is attached to the person so let's say for example for both of these books if i wanted to do a quick animation where i was handing the book off to someone else i might have it stop at this frame have this book in her hand but by the time it gets to her, her swing movement getting about right here i could easily say i want this prop to be at zero um, zero percent opacity. This could have been hidden from the very beginning. So once it gets to this book, this one will go to zero. This one will instantly turn to 100. I'm using two different props, but the animation will show like it just left from one person's hand and went to another. So those are just different things you can play around with you can attach these um, body parts to, I mean, these props to different parts of the body depending on um, what you need to do. If she's playing a guitar or something, you may want it attached to the hip. Why? Because when her body's moving around, left and right or something, the guitar would go wherever the hip is going. It may, you may want it attached to the hand. Um, it's just different things you will want to do depending on where it's going that you want it connected to. Of course, if you put something around the face, you want it attached to the face. Why? If the head is moving up and down, you want it to go up and down with it. So it wouldn't make sense to attach this and say link it to the arm because each time her arm swings while it's walking, this would just swing back and forth over her face. You want it attached somewhere where it's going to be stationary, but it's going to move with her. So hopefully this answered all of your questions. If it doesn't, just shoot another response back and I will try to elaborate a little bit more. But I think um, we covered both aspects. We, remember, you cannot use this unless the prop is connected to the character. 
And in order to do that, you have to go into um, the editor mode, which you can do right here. And I believe the book is still there. Yeah. You have to go into the editor mode, go into content manager, go to the prop that you want to attach, and you can just drag it. You can really drag it anywhere in the beginning, but later on, you can say exactly where you want it connected to. In this case, I just instantly dragged it to the hand, but you can really attach it anywhere you want. And then once you have the, um, Once you have the book connected to her in some form or fashion, I'm not sure if I, okay, I did. And you can attach multiple props, so it doesn't have to be just one. I'm just using one in this example. But once you have it attached to her, you can then go back and really say how you want the, um, the prop, the layering to be, whether it's between hands, between a leg, you know, you can determine out all the details yourself. So hope that answers your question and take care.